God dang, I'm gonna miss you guys. But I understand that you're needed out there, punching monsters in the ocean. That's a bit of an oversimplification of our work. Come on, Point Dexter. Ocean's not gonna punch itself. You could be out here saying goodbye to everyone with me. I've been doing that for a week. He cried all morning. Darn right I did. Beat that, Sixer. Are you being competitive about sentimentality? Are you being a sore loser? Well, it was nice meeting you guys. Uh, hey, Mr. Pines. Next time you visit, Maybe don't hire anyone. Oh, uh, you, you know, not, nothing wrong with Steven. Steven's great. Love Steven, dude. It's just, you know, I'm the owner. I'll give you two days straight and I have no obligation to still listen. <laughs> he did. I would still like to say goodbye to Fiddleford, but for some reason, no one has seen him for a week. Dizzy Mabel asks, question for Fiddleford. How does it feel to be one of the only survivors of the Bazazzlepocalypse? You speak as though it's over. The Bazazzlepocalypse will not end until the last rhinestone has fallen! Hey, Dad, I'm making dinner or breakfast or something. Uh, you want anything? Hmm. How's the brown meat today? Still all we have. Ooh, sounds good! If you're worn out and you're on the road, why not stop by? That you don't believe in So come tag along with Dipper Mabel And Steven We'll have some new adventures With friends who'll last forever Meet monsters, gems, and people Eat pizza, fight evil So grab your hooks and guidebooks Pull up your shield and take a look Like my mask? You can get one of your very own at crowdmade.com slash collection slash VA. It's also available on t-shirts and hoodies. And for the ladies, there's a watermelon design! <laughs> Just kidding! I don't believe in gender clothing! Hey! Hey! What? Steven! Where are your headband? I also stream to twitch.tv slash VA every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's the Putt Putt Freddy Fish Pajama Sam Spy Fox franchises on Tuesdays, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney on Wednesdays, and Zelda Twilight Princess on Thursdays. And if you're not in my Discord, then, well, I guess you're not interested in playing Jackbox Cards Against Humanity and Among Us with me. Uh, but if you're interested in any of those things I just mentioned, all three of those links are in the pinned comment. Anyway, enjoy the video. Pat Doivison asks, Steve Burrito! Can you show Perry around Camp Pines? Camp Pines? Did someone say the words Camp and Pine in that order? Oh, good. You made it. We were just answering questions from the scary mailbox in the woods. If you want to join in, there's a bunch of them addressed to you. Excellent. If there's one thing I love, it's talking about myself at length. Hey, Steven! Are you okay? Oh, I said that one somehow. Am I okay? Well, Van got crushed and I had to eat a demon, but other than that, I've actually been relaxing. Wow, oh, that's nice. Play one. Question for Bill. What was it like being treated like an actual Dorito? I mean, this is karma for what you said to Steven, and now you get treated like an actual Dorito by him. Karma, right? <laughs> Ugh, Melody, could you cover me for a sec? My stomach hurts. Fair enough. What do you think of Waddles? I love him. I love him so much. I had Steven make me one of my own. Meet Waddles Melon, also known as Pumpkin 3.0. Oh. <laughs> Gotcha Petal asks, do you miss Steven? Whenever I have fired at Steven, which I have on multiple occasions, my aim was flawless. I would never miss him. A Vagellus de la Vassilis asks, why am I alive? 
Well, I assume the Vigelis de la Vasilis is a subspecies of human. And like all humans, your body performs an autonomous biological function known as respiration, where your cells convert nutrients from food into a chemical known as adenosine triphosphate. This adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, can be easily burned by your cells using oxygen to produce energy and then... Wait. Wait. I wasn't finished. Oh. Mabel has requested assistance building a... boyfriend. So, I have constructed this death robot. Wait, a death robot? Isn't it supposed to love her? I was not trained to build love robots. So I just adapted a request to my pre-existing sphere of knowledge, which is robots that kill people. But this one has a heart of gold. Well, mostly copper, but there's some gold. Destroy all humanity, except Mabel. <sighs> I love a man who can protect me. Now all he needs is a name. Feather Duster. Fuster! Fuster the Death Robot! The Death Robot? I totally get, but don't you think the name Fuster could be a little bit more metal? A little more metal? Well, I'll try to find some. Phoenix Kingston asks, I got a question for Steven. Have Fuster tried to fuse with anyone at the shack? Hey, uh, Wendy. Mabel's boyfriend keeps chasing the customers with a soldering iron. Fuse with me! Get away from my boy! Who about mommy? Trancy, no! Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything about that. No, yeah, that is well established. I was asking if you know where Mr. and Mrs. Ramirez are. Did you check the basement? I'm pretty sure they were cleaning down there. Good news! I found the metals that Fuster needs below ground. Better news! While I was down there, I took the liberty of fixing your sad excuse for a work pad. W wait, what? The portal? Uh-oh. Whoa, this place is so clean it looks like some kind of infinite void. Good job, Melody. Uh, Seuss? I don't think we're in the basement? Ah, that's one way to clean. Out of sight, out of mind. Right, buddy? What? What? This guy gets it. Remember, Stanley. The three-toed arctic frequency sniffer is capable of smelling radio signals. So, if we're to approach its lair undetected... Way ahead of you, ditching the satellite phones! W uh, well, maybe leave them behind in the rowboat. Don't don't just dump them. Dump them? Got it! No, no don't! Too late. Just threw two overboard. <sighs> I hope for your sake nothing important is happening back home. I'm sure it's all fine. Gotcha Petal asks, Melody, have you been trying to get out of the multiverse? And is Seuss helping? Well, right now we're just trying to get our bearings before we look for a way home. Mm -hmm. We definitely know that if we go up there, we end up down there. Down there, yeah. And um, if we step back too far, we erase the entirety of our lives and everything we've ever done. So um, the cha-cha slide is dangerous here. Do not take it back now, y'all. Oh my gosh. Thank you for telling me. That was close. Sus, how's the infinite pizza? Uh, okay, so when we entered the multiverse, we were both holding the pizza and eating it at the same time. That's just how we eat. Don't judge us. It's like a lady in the tramp thing. Yeah, it's romantic. It doesn't work, really, because this pizza keeps regenerating. Yeah. Uh, anyway, now it's gone. I think it's part of us, because have you been feeling like you've been eating pizza this whole time? Yeah. Which, uh, you know is fantastic, uh, I highly recommend, and this is what I really believe marriage is gonna feel like, you know? Well, we'll find out if we ever get back. Un what? Uh, unless? Yo! Is anybody here uh, an ordained priest? Oh. Uh, I could perform the ceremony. I'm a ship's captain. Uh, I, I don't think Abuelita would approve. Oh, it's nothing about you being like a weird interdimensional clip art tree. She's chill with that sort of stuff. It's just, you know, I think she wants us to have a Catholic wedding, so... Okay, no problem. I'm kind of booked today anyways. Gotta devour an entire timeline. Hey, you know what? You enjoy that, dude. Yeah, have fun. He's just so nice. Yo, Seuss! Yo. Hey! Hey! Did you know that there's a Seuss in every universe? Oh, and I gotta be the one to catch them all! 
He's gonna be the very best Seuss, like no Seuss ever was. Da, 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 da. To friend them, his is real test. To eat with them is his cause. Ba, 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 da. I will travel across the space, finding every Seuss. Da, da, da. All the different Seusses around, they're gonna be my friends. Susamon! Got a Susamon! <laughs> oh, the Milan Tuner asks, Hey guys, what are you doing to keep yourselves occupied in this trying time? Well, usually I count things to pass the time, but it turns out that things here can't be numerically valued. So Seuss has been completely reinventing mathematics for me. Uh, sweetie, you sure that's not too difficult a task for you? No, no, no. It's no problem at all, Tidbit. It's gonna take me like squeeps minutes, squeeps in a schmaff tops. Maybe schmevendy schmevendy schmeif. That's good. Aitama asks, I don't know if I should say this, but Peridot, WTF? I suppose that stands for what the buster. Why did you fix something without asking? The universe might be torn apart because of this. Torn apart? I don't understand. It's just a warp pad. It's more of a dimensional warp pad? There's some scary stuff out there in the multiverse. I held a military version of myself in my arms as I felt her life leave her body. What are you guys freaking out about over here? Peridot did something irresponsible and dangerous. Makes sense. Well, I'm going to the basement. Someone needs to stop Peridot's robot from soldering the customers. And that sounds like a Mr. Ramirez thing. Wait, Seuss and Melody were in the basement? Were. Ugh, oh, great! I've accidentally trapped Steven's employers in a parallel dimension! Flappa specifically told me not to do that! She what? Great Uncle Ford hasn't been picking up any of his phones. There's only one person we could turn to now. To Northwest Manor! Actually, now it's... Oh, right, yeah, uh, to McGucket's Hootenanny Hut. Huh. He left his door open. Uh, Manly Dan? You good? No! I've been killed! Carry on, then. So why are we here? Supposedly the guy who built the portal lives here, but... The place seems empty. <laughs> Kevin the Devil Man asks, Fiddleford, a few questions. Have you recovered more of your memory in the time since we're in Mageddon? I think my brain's pretty much all back! Oh, well, I guess I don't remember a few of Tate's Little League games. So it is all back. Are you and Stanford ever going to work together again? Or was that experience too painful? As a kid just out of my second doctorate, I always let my anxiety get the better of me. And Stanford was a selfish prick! You know, I started a cult instead of therapy, he unleashed the apocalypse for personal gain. We both made mistakes, but we've changed a lot since then. I reckon you more so. I grew a beard! Unofficial name asks, how is your raccoon wife? Excuse me, Tater. Random question. When I done wiped my brain, did I... Was there any proceeded ceremonies you can recall? Yes, Dad. I had to move to Oregon for your raccoon wedding. I was the best man. That's probably not okay anymore, right? Should I... It's weirder if I do or don't text her. Emerald Bucket asks, Did you check to see if the Bazazzle apocalypse is over yet? We don't have to step out to do that. We can see the future. My boy here has developed an algorithm for accurately predicting the weather, the stock market, and the lottery. How's the situation looking, Tate? Uh, there's a storm coming. Gateway is up. And, uh, that scratch-off card has two gophers in the middle. Gateway up? As in the computers? Is it 2007 again? Oh, right. Other, eh, emergency-ish? The portal isn't going to work if no one's paying the electric bill, and every single person qualified to run the Mystery Shack is currently missing. Not to worry! I have encountered this situation before. I ran a car wash for a single day. I'll just call my business partners. Welcome to the Mystery Shack. We put the fun in refunds available with receipt or other proof of purchase. Exchanges for items of equal or lesser value also available. What's that robot doing? Eh, trying to kill the customers. Neat. Next week on a very special episode of Camp Pining Hearts. Why don't 
we pass the time with some Monopoly. That game is so boring. Not the way I play. Strip Monopoly. <laughs> what? Yeah, this was a weird episode. Are you guys going to sit around watching TV all day, or are you actually going to help out around here? Well, if you're giving us the option... Oh yeah, definitely going to sit around. This Sunday, 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 live exorcism at the Tent of Telepathy. Father Punches so hurry has taken on Dirk, the Demon Derek. The cream is going to rise to the top, folks. Sunday, Demon, Cream, C Creamin', is that anything? Tent of Telepathy. Oh, the phone! Where did the previous owner keep the customer service script? Uh, ah, here. Thank you for calling the Mystery Shack. That's short for the mysterious Shaquille O'Neal. That's not correct, is it? Who is there? I need to speak to Jesus. Oh, he's in another dimension at the moment. May I take a message? What? Doesn't he know how important this is? I demand to speak to the management. What's going on? There's a screaming child on the phone. Wait. Screaming child? Yo, Gideon, what's good? Wendy, I was watching my stories and all of a sudden, a spectral visit from the Yeah, dead. I saw that. I figured you were reopening. Me? I would do no such thing. I am nice and friendly now. Which is why I needed to destroy the dance of telepathy. All right. Hang on. Yo, Connie, I'm taking my break. Gotta go burn down a tent. Oh, I should come. Water and stuff. It's inconvenient for all of my employees to take their break at the same time. But I am passionate about fire safety. Uh, Connie, hi! I don't know what to say. Working for you creates a weird dynamic, but it's really good to see you again. Steven! Hey! Don't think of me as your boss. This is just to pad out my college applications. Running a small business at 15? That's gonna look amazing. So how's Peridot doing at getting your real boss back? Uh, I don't know. I drove them to the adventure, but I drew the line there. No more adventures for me, thank you. Nope, 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 nope. Connie and Steven, this one's on you. Uh, okay. Steven, ready for an adventure? Yeah. Welcome to the Tent of Telepathy. You must pay for entry with your sins. Also, it's like 20 bucks. Is there a student price? 30. Well, let's figure out who's in charge of this operation. You can't run anymore! Jasper! The floor is wet. You're gonna have to be careful. Walk around it. I should put up a sign. Wait, you're working here? I have a new purpose now, and this job gives me dental. Whatever that is. Hey! No outside food or drink! Run, Strancy! <laughs> I said no running! Well, that would explain why Lapis left. And Wendy. Guy at the door is her ex. Diabolical! Um, excuse me. Who's giving the tours? The robot. Welcome to the Mystery Jack. How may I destroy you? I mean, destroy you! My deuce! Your competitor is here! All according to plan. Send him on in, bro. Mm, Mr. Ramirez? Nah, bro. I don't know why everyone says that. Is it the hair? He doesn't have hair. Interesting. Have a seat. Have you heard the story of one Gideon Gleeful? The angry baby? Yeah, that's him. He was once so powerful. How long is this story? I'm on the clock. Legend spoke! Okay, seems like it'll be a bit conny. That he summoned ancient horrors. Just to, like, crush the business competition, bro. Convicted Fallon, led a biker gang. He was so cool. And I was honored to serve under him as handyman. But he went soft. He threw away his power. However, I never lost sight of what truly matters. The deed to the Mystery Shack. Oh, uh, no. I'm gonna keep that. You ludicrous fool. You underestimate my cunning. I will finish what Gideon started and... Oh, <laughs> floor donut. Therapy. Ooh.
Gideon. Is that it for the backstory? <laughs> uh, mine, yeah. Uh, oh, but the janitor's got a pretty rad one. No thanks, I didn't really- There I was, <laughs> abandoned by my diamond. Nothing to do but punch my way through the forest. But one tree fought back. The formidable Steve survived me throwing him into a van. Can you tell my dad's car insurance that, that was how it happened? Bested by my foe, I noticed a flyer attached to him that led me here. It was very difficult to hang it up on a tree giant. Ouch, bro. Oh, well, we also have backstories for our stage personas, if you want to hear those. Dirk the Demon Derek was abandoned by her diamond. She's not very creative. Oh, but she's great in the ring, bro. And she mobs like a dream. Anything for my deuce! Alright, well, seeing as you guys aren't actually a threat to business, I should get back to work. Yeah. Rescuing Mr. Ramirez in the void actually sounds less exhausting. Oh, oh, wait, Seuss has gone missing? <laughs> You're not going anywhere. Jasper? Yes, my deuce! Tie them up. I'm going to go shave my head. The mysterious Shaquille O'Neal is finally mine! Wait, that was correct?